busy. Yeah. Thank you for carving out some time. Thank you for having me. And for slowing down again. Yeah. And for, you know, just making the time to go beyond what we know you for. Yeah. So let me just get this housekeeping matter out of the way. Yeah. So while I will get to busy, mm. you know, I'm not really interested in busy in this first part of the interview. Yeah. I'm interested in the person from St. Anne. Good. You know, the, the, the firstborn for his mommy. Yeah. And uh, what that meant. So we're starting there. You're from St. Anne. From St. Anne, you know, humble beginnings, um, church going, you know, Christian family, Christian background. Um, you know, just that type of life. You know, we grew up and we know, say, all right, we share our, our we grew up in that type of environment. Where people share, people loving, people, you know, even we as kids, we fight now and again, but that another important thing. Yeah. The important thing we share, we love each other, we, you know, we care for each other, we, we listen to the elders, we listen to our parents. Um, well, most of the time, I guess. And, um, you know, we do what we do and do what our kids do. You know, till you get to a level where you start understand, you know, what, what you love and what you take on to. As, yeah. as times goes, you find out, say, okay, some people take on to ramping, some people take on to, mm -hmm. um, you know, them want to find out what I want, them, you know, more inquisitive type of one, try to be involved Who in everything. Who are you? I was one of the inquisitive type of one who knew what I go on and what I involved. So every minute, yeah, why mommy? Why, why this? Why, why this? Why? Why this? Why? Hey, stop coming from me when they say, yo, where are you? So we get all of the, 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 the yell at them, and we get all of the, 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 the some, and we get enough beat me get. <laughs> yeah. Because we want to try to learn, and sometimes, as a kid, when you want to try to learn, you're going to make, you know, you know, you're gonna make wrong attempts, or you're gonna make, you know, you know wrong decisions, or you're gonna make stuff that's, you know, you're gonna step out of the way most of the time. Yeah. Because you're not really know better. Yeah. You speak about the church, so describe the kind of environment that you grew up in. You know, we got church. We got church on Saturdays. You know, it was a your Seventy Adventist. Seventy, and yeah. you know, we got church at a strict type of something. There. Um, we see the people that play the guitar, keyboard. We see the people that beat the drum. We see the, we see, we see the people that sing. We see the worship. You know what I mean? We believe in a God and know God and trust God from a longer while. And, um, you know, it's never going to stop for me. Yeah. It's never going to stop because I grow that way there. You know, that does inner me. You know, that's, that's, that's embedded inside. So it's like, it's that type of environment which part of the Christian. And them time the community can grow you. So you had to show your respect to the elders in the community? Yes, man. You have yeah. to show respect. You have to, you have to greet people. Good morning, good evening. You know what I mean? You have to leave somewhere or something. You have to good night. You know, you have to, okay, you know? Them something that you, you, you would grow with these type of things and, you know, in the forward up and stuff. And your grandfather was a pastor? Pastor, yeah, man. Pastor. I mean, Pastor Brown, you know, God rest his soul, you know, he passed away. But I mean, this great man taught me a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like man, what? Wally, Wally. In terms of humility, humbleness, calm down. You know what I mean? When we get the beating, them, it make me understand how to accept the beating. Back in the days, people are get beaten. Well, people are get beaten. And to accept the beating? Yeah, man, what because him put the wrong and make me know what I do wrong. Oh, okay. Because, you know, people don't know what they do wrong sometimes. So it sometime makes sense to you that you're getting beaten because. Because you know, of this and this is wrong. So it make you learn for okay. So me a cry me a, and, 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 and it a get to a level which part you look like you are, you know a kid like you know one like who beat you. Right. But it make you understand say oh it's because of this and you get that type of beating me mm -hmm. because of that. So you understood cause and effect. Yes, man. Yeah. You know they teach me so much and you know the humility. I'm the eldest grandson in the house at the time. Um. You know, apart from when my, my older cousin would have come by, but mm. most of the time, I'm the eldest grandson in that circle. And you have two brothers. Right, what three what brothers. are they? Three brothers. Yeah. Yeah. What are their names? Andre, Overland, and Gailey. Yeah. Yeah, man. And are you guys close? Or did very, you grow, grow very close? Yeah. Very close. Yeah. Yeah, man. They know everything. And then monitor most of my something. Then. Right. You know, so it's like, you know, as I said, we grow that weird and that bond and that something there. We not grow like them nowadays, people. Yeah. If we can say that, yeah? We don't grow like them nowadays, people. We, we don't, me, I don't even grow like my people. Then. Mm. You know, it's a different time, this. So, so, so we grow, which part, we know, say, all right. It's just a discipline and a humbleness. And even, as we say, when we, when, when, when we slip up or step out of line, mm -hmm. we get straight up. Your mother was Instant. very strict? Yes, up till now, she's strict. Really? Yeah, man. My mother still called me, you feel sing for the Lord a full time now. And um, 
Min, why are we at pan? <laughs> and I'm, I'm about to get there, and I'm very happy you said that to them because my question was to Bless. you. Yeah, having, wow. having, you know, you grew up in a house where your grandfather is a pastor. You grew up in a Seventh-day Adventist house. Yeah. And I remember watching an interview with her at some point um, where she was saying that you guys performed together as a quartet yeah. at church. Yes, ma'am. So why didn't you choose a path in gospel, in gospel music? Gospel is inside, I mean. You know what I mean? But as a gospel but, artist. But as a gospel artist, artist. Now, I was in my young stage making the decision to be a, a dancer, reggae artist. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that took off when we reached Jamaica. You know, after I grew up and we reached Jamaica and said, right now, I want to do music professionally. To my surprise or to the blessing what God sent, it, it was really quick for me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because when we reached Jamaica, I see enough artists, well, they didn't have my peer as, as artists at them time, when we were younger artists. Not for who did dead at them time then. Me see them as artists mm -hmm. before me start do artists um, professionally. Like before me start do music professionally. We come see enough of them as artists already. Yeah. Yeah. What I find very interesting, even in dancehall, is that a lot of artists, even hip hop and rap, a lot of artists mm -hmm. allude to the fact that they got their start in church. So they began singing in church, you know, and then for whatever reason, yeah. it's like the packaging of Christianity wasn't so compelling enough to hold them. You, you grew up in a way. Let me see if I say this now. My Christian fans out there, nobody about me out, see with me. Amen. Um, we grew up in a way which part is like you're lacking. Yeah. You're lacking to a, It's restricting. Yeah, you're restricted. So you're lacking to that box there. Only. And you know, you, you come up as a child, you come up, you know you can't because he's a child. Yeah. Now, the least chance you get if you go through that door, the other window there. Mm hmm. I think it's that. So is it that the packaging people, of Christianity is wrong then for, for it to wrong. hold young people? It's not wrong. Okay. The packaging of Christianity is not wrong. But you know, the way of... It, it, like, you get taken on to the world easier yeah, okay. than how you would have said, all right, let me run go to the altar. Not like it's right. But guess what? Many are called. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chosen a few. We born, come here that and we read that. You know the Bible. So, me now say, yes, me I'm one of the many who... Where I mm -hmm. may one of the chosen. I God be the judge. Yeah. I God be the judge. Because I can tell you this. Some of them Christians that we see out there, whether them artists or not, or whether them does go to church or not, they're not holy like me or you, Debbie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. blessed like me or you need Some of them are proper thief, liar, and all these madness. So and and wouldn't, reality, you, wouldn't you say that it is God that has given you all the things that you have, you know, received in life, the grace no periods, but, all of those no things? Yeah. Yeah. No one, but I don't have an, a, a, a next go to person. We don't know about some other people. Cause, you know, Jamaica, you know, some man gonna wobble a man, and some man gonna mad a woman, and some man gonna that's mad at them, that's mad at them. We don't, we don't grow them with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We believe in our God. And right now, every single thing we see, busy signal go through, our busy signal have, our busy signal achieve in life. You know, we give thanks for the breath of life first and foremost. Everything after the breath of life is the most high. Yeah. Yeah. And even before the birth of life, I still the most I said, the, my mother and my father, my father for heal up my mother and who say, yeah, hey, you know, you have to marry to the Christian daughter before you can raise and then, yeah, you know what I mean? All these things go on, I still the most I said all these mm -hmm. things. And I believe that yeah. in our, our day in life. Yeah. Yeah. You had to step up at a very young age as the man in the house yeah. of sorts, you know, because your father wasn't there. What was happening there? My father, you know, he, he went away on farm working. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so my mom there with us as boy pitney. She not a girl pitney, so I just boy pitney. You know, and on, and on, and on, and on a soft soap business now. You know what I mean? Because, you know, as I said, we give you a little trouble sometimes. Sometimes me and my brother, they don't want to fight. So, you know, sometimes we are ramp and we over ramp or overplay. And the overplay can go in a danger sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we never have the whole of the toys them way. What do you do that have? So we have, to, we have to just be creative. Yeah. You know what I mean? We get the little young orange them, pick them off, and that are the wheel for the little truck. We get the back strings, box them, and we make with something them. And then we get beaten for pick up the young orange them for make. <laughs> so it's like, it's like within the creative process, yeah. we think that we're right and we are create something so nice at the end of the day. You know, the parents and, and the guardian were around and we say, oi, you know, say, yeah, use a potential. Mm -hmm. 
food or I go come of age and, and come to fitness mm -hmm. already at some point. You are used, you are cut the fruit there and I use it, make tie, you are getting yeah. that. So it's like, it's a, it's a whole different, it's, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they, they respected you, younger brothers respected the fact that you were the authority then. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, because we grow with our way and you know, them, them, them respect the fact that, yeah, um, them, have a, a, them have a big brother. You know what I mean? And the whole we come home, yes, home work have to do, I have to look over for them one, I have to make sure I say, oh, yeah, a bag of ramping can go on, home work have to do. Yeah. Was that at the sacrifice of your own investment in self as well, concerning your education and stuff like that? Did you have to sacrifice the time that you'd have to spend on yourself to do your homework and, you know, prepare yourself to go to college and... No, I never go to college and them something. That's what I'm saying, so... Me, 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 I, I didn't even think it was a sacrifice. It's just because well, we have studied together, but we, we have studied different things because gotcha. we more than them. Yeah. But at the end of the day, me just, you know, when we do what I do, we just overlook them yeah. and, and them. Because in, 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 in theory or in, 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 in um lessons cross the earth. My brother them brighter than me by far, far, far. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm always say that at all times and I always, you know, endorse them, them, them education because education is, you know what I mean? Yeah. My brother them, all three of them are teacher. And them do different things as well, but all three of them are teacher. Wow. Like professionally. You have one of them a maths major and they have masters in a different thing with others. It's like they do what they do. But I'm me in what I do. You do you read I mean? a lot? Let me tell you why I ask you that. Yeah. For some, you have, you have managed to coin, flip, put together some of the strangest words, you know, in a, you've, you've utilized the alliterations, you know, your metaphors. Yeah. Um, I remember one time hearing you say, Yo, you're not too go to go to unless you know about it and I support it. I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> Yeah. Who would have thought about yeah. you know that that whole construction of the sentence? Is yeah. that you read a lot, so you get this intellect from reading or just observing? I observe a lot. I observe more than I read. Okay. You know, um, I observe a lot, like extreme reading. I would say yeah, uh, maybe forty percent reading. Yeah. Which is not good for the average person, for, for, you know, where I really go read and, and also the knowledge is within the words and you see, can you find that these things is written? Yeah, but at the end of the day, for me, I you know, overdo the reading, but I, mean, I, read, I wouldn't say I'm not a reader. Mm -hmm. And yes, I can read. <laughs> yeah, can yeah. Read. that's good to and, know. And, and, and I mean, you know, I do what I do and I, I capitalize on what, on yeah. what I have each time, you know. Can you remember that conversation with your mother when you said to her, Mommy, more on the dance hall? I remember when I, I remember I remember the conversation surrounding mm, dance hall, but it never says straight dance hall. So me the happy tell my mother like this, like, Mommy, I want to do music mm. professionally. Did you think it was gospel music when you said that to her? She almost flings it link me down. Because she, she knew from what you said, you are the music professionally. She does think. Yes. She, world she knew, music. She knew, you know, because yeah. she always hear about what I do at school. And, you know, we get the, we get the suspension. And we get the kick out of class because we are not on the bench. And we now learn what we learn. And teach her to this and me over there. So I knock on the bench with, with, with a couple of other students. And them something. So she knew what I go on. You know what I mean? But my mom, you never really want to accept that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she never does shut me down completely. How old were you when you decided that this was the path that you wanted to take? I think I was somewhere, uh, somewhere near 14, 15. Yeah. Yeah. She was not having that, but she never shut me down completely. Yeah. You know what I mean? The resources was not around me. Like, you know, we never have access to a studio, professional studio we never have access to. Um, or even knowing a professional artist mm -hmm. or nothing like that. Did you have any... Her, I mean, we know that you look up to Bounty Killer, but, you know, yeah. at that time, was he one of the figures that you wanted to be like? Yeah, man. Yeah. Bounty Killer. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Shabba Anybody Rampi. else? Yeah. Yeah. Super Cat. Papa Sam. You know, look up to these people. Lieutenant Stitchy, Admiral Bailey. Yeah, man. You Every call time. names of people who have very unique sounds. Like, Every very time. unique and distinctive sounds about them. Yeah, and, and, and different styles as Different well. style, yeah. yeah man. Can we grow up on nothing just like snuff if you said type of living when Babylon seen on the street now I mean I say, yo, all the video for that the video for that? 
I remember that and I said, yo, I want to do this. Levi is smart. When Levi, when I, when you see the video of them, ballistic affair, you see, you see, the, you see, you hear a different thing. You know what I mean? Joe is a wheel. Brigadier Jerry, you hear a different thing. I know you that wanna, you're identifying them. I'm hearing those songs. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about the songs that you've done and I'm hearing that yeah. inspiration in, in your sound. Yeah, man. I will, if me start, like, list out, you know, a few artists yeah. who inspire me, it wouldn't be a few. Yeah. 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 You know so, what I mean? So it's, it's that type of level where I'm so surrounded by our culture, rich culture here in Jamaica. And to myself, I say, all right, why not capitalize? And why yeah. not go outside the box rather than just be a dancehall artist full stop? Why make you just venture into the genre, into the genre and, 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 and our culture a little more? Yeah. And I'm inspired by Grace Chillers as well. Yeah. I'm inspired by, by, by a lot of different um, gospel songs and gospel artists from back then as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. What did she you want you to do? She said, prepare <laughs> to meet me there. Oh, yes, prepare to meet me there. Yo, them song there. We grew up on them song there. Plus, we grew up on Kenny Rogers' song there. We grew up on Marty Robbins' them. We grew up on, we grew up on these songs where, 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 where it's like, you know, you get to hear what I go on. You hear the storyline mm -hmm. throughout the country with the Western song them. You, you, you hear Because the music was really the way in which people told the stories of their yes, lives, you know, So and it still is. Yes. So what did mommy want you to do, though? What was her ideal profession for you? I don't think she ever, I don't remember my mom saying, like, she wanted me to be this or wanted yeah. me to be that. You know what I mean? My mom was a teacher before, you know, we migrated from, from Jamaica back then. She was a teacher here. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's, it's after she migrated, she did the nurse thing and stuff. Yeah. But, but she was a teacher. And... I mean, I think she, she, I wanna, you know, you know, really see my mother as one of them mother that was say yes, because you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna be a teacher, you're gonna be a, a, a this and that. And she, not, she never really do that something. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of allow we, she just want we get education to different level. Yeah. Yeah, man. She never really give it a, you have to be a decent, because I, I heard that, you know, I heard some parents do that to their, their children. People do. Yeah. yeah people, you have parents yeah. who decide the fate of yeah, the child's life. Yeah, decide the child. And, yeah. And sometimes, like me book fan enough. Enough you tell you don't book fan why, why even I go to college now. Like like I'm not talking about recent, like yeah. last year. I book fan you still I go U in U tech and stuff and, and still I go Edna Manley where I say, boy, no, no, me not me not, me not sure if I want to do this, you know, but my father say and my mother say and them say and I'm pay fees. And this me I do. Yeah. And pay. So it's like it, 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 uh, my personal view on that it's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong for, for really force. I think just like some Rasta man who really would have forced them pitney for 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 just eat bush. Mm. You know what I mean? You force your pitney from your pitney barn. You know why your pitney drink no milk out of the pitney mother breast, and you know why the pitney for eat certain things. So the pitney just barn and eat callaloo and lettuce. It, uh, to me, that's wrong. You I, know what I mean? I get you. To me, that's wrong in some ways. And me is a Rastafari in depth when when it comes to certain things. You're a Rasta. Well, me not have no lax on them something like a Rasta now have nothing to do with lax. Gotcha. But at the end of the day, the heart meditates truths and rights and justice. Yeah man. And self-reliance and education to a level. And, and Rasta prefix in terms of leading. Right. Yeah. Okay. And head of certain level. We, 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 we respect that type of format. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm highly philosophy teachings and, 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 and Marcus Garvey philosophy and certain things. So we respect certain level. Yeah, but at the end of the day, me not really feel say a pitney for born and the father or the mother. You just know say, all right, no milk, no for drink out of them breast there. Um, you for just we for just find some form of lettuce cereal and callaloo, <laughs> callaloo cereal and callaloo. Busy, I've never heard about yeah, <laughs> lettuce yeah, cereal and yeah. callaloo. I'm just before. saying, you know. <laughs> but I get yeah. you to turn to turn to a whole lifestyle of you know being a vegan. Take me back though, busy. Yeah, you're living a very normal life of sorts, right? At home in St. Anne. Yeah. And then you hear it's time to move to the U.S. because, you know, you've, you've been filed for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's going through your mind at that time? Are you thinking, yes, you know, new life? One of the happiest moments and one of the saddest moments. Yeah. One. You know, um, it's like, okay, I'm going to leave Jamaica mm -hmm. and all of the things that I'm used to and what I know how to do and what I born and grow do. And I go, me, me, I go in a foreign land where we don't know nothing of. Mm -hmm. We hear about, but we don't know, cause now I'm, 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 you know what I mean? 
So it's like, I don't really run through my mind them time then. Yeah. It's like, that bittersweet something, eh? you know what I mean? That merengue seed there. <laughs> yeah, man, that's something that I run through <laughs> them time then. Yeah. Know? 